Hey guys, this is my friend Tuba, and he's gonna sing a song along with Pewee and Tuki. Enjoy. Bye. Awesome. Hi guys. Hey. Hi. Tell you what, let's sing a song where you ask me a question. How about that? Okay. Awesome. okay. I think you're pretty smart. I think you'll know when to ask. Are you ready? Yeah. Ready? ready? Here yeah. we go. Saxophone time. Saxophone. He's multi talented. Whee! Down the mountains into rivers and lakes. What a great journey fresh water makes. Now! Where does it go next? Perfect! Here's the story. Okay. High in the mountains, peaks covered with snow. The water is frozen, cause temperature's low. Winter turns to spring and the sun's warmth is felt. The snow gets slushy as it starts to melt. From solid to liquid, it's starting to flow. On down the mountains, it's on the go. Joining other water sources from other snow peaks. It starts moving faster into white water creeks. Down the mountains into rivers and lakes. What a great journey fresh water makes. Go! Where does it go next? Excellent! Good question. Here's more. In a fast-moving river, it's traveled far. Round turns down falls to a reservoir. Through aqueduct rivers that people have made, across California goes the water cascade. Down the mountains into rivers and lakes. What a great journey fresh water makes. Where does it go next? I got it. Too. I said it. I said it. I said it too. I said it. I got it. Too. You got it. It's fine. Awesome. Into big long pipes that are buried underground. To all of our houses right here in this town. You see, it's come a long way from the mountains to your sink. So cherish every drop, every sip that you drink. Down the mountains into rivers and lakes. What a great journey fresh water makes. Where does it go next? Here's where it gets fun, because it's all in your hands now. What you use the water for, and how much you use the water for. You can take a shower, you can wash the dishes, you can take a nice, long, cool drink of ice cold, fresh, clean water, yeah. which is, of course, the best way to use water. Yeah. And the most important thing is how much you use. Use just a little bit and conserve. Got it? Got it! Good! Woohoo! Great song. Hey, Pewee. Hey, Obadiah. I want to talk to you today about transpiration. Transportation? No, 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 no. Transpiration. What's that? Say, say it. Transpiration? Perfect. Transpiration is part of the water cycle. It's part of evaporation, but it's not regular evaporation. It involves plants like this. Well, all this water is underneath the ground and it comes up and it feeds and helps these plants grow and it comes up through the roots and then through the stem and then it gets to the leaves. Then what happens, Pewee? It grows. The plant grows, but then what happens to the water? I have no idea. It evaporates through the leaves. And that process of going from the roots all the way through the plants, throughout the leaves, and out to evaporate into the sky, that's called? Transpiration! Transpiration! I'm getting smart. You are smart. Thanks. You too. Let's talk about respect. Respect, 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 respect. No, 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 no. Let's talk about making a safe choice. I've got something for both of you. Let's talk about washing our hands. How's that about making a safe choice? Germs can make us sick. We get germs on our hands by touching things. We get germs off our hands by washing them. How's that about respect? If you have germs on your hands and touch something, they may get on somebody else's hands, and it's disrespectful to give somebody else your germs. Okay, I'll wash my hands. Me too. Hey, wait a minute. We don't have hands. We're puppets, remember? Hey, stop being so negative. Okay, I'll wash my, I'll wash my paws. Hey, when should we wash our paws? Monday or Tuesday? Every day. 
and many times each day. Whoa! Like after playing outside, after taking out the garbage, after playing with your dog. What? Or cat. What about your pig? <laughs> right. Uh, also, you should wash your hands after going to the bathroom. There's many times you need to do that, and that's something to talk about in your classroom. And that's a way to make this a good day.